Nestled safely in amazing grace I made up my mind There are some things that God is going to have to make you forget. Because there are things that have been perpetrated against us. Because it says all his father's house. Some of the stuff that we're dealing with is generational. Some of the stuff that we are dealing with, you gotta forget certain things that your parents did to you. Mm -hmm. Preaching good. Yes. That family, family members did to you. And it's so deeply ingrained into who you are as an adult now that it's, it's going to take God to omit this thing. It is going to take God to extract this thing from memory. Because now it is affecting me in relationship. God made me forget all my toil. You know, God is not going to give you amnesia. So let's just make this real plain. So if you're asking God to extract something from memory, he's not going to give you amnesia. That's not what I'm saying. But when you look at that first definition coupled with this one, there are certain things that God is going to make it to where you are totally oblivious to. So the memory of it has no place in your life currently. The memory of the transgression has no credibility now. It does not influence you in a negative way. If anything, it makes you strong. You are totally oblivious to it. It means from want of memory. And so some things are still. Some things you gotta will yourself to forget. Yes. I'm working up in here. Yes, sir. Because you know what? Some things, quite frankly, we don't want to forget. You're right. We don't want to forget certain things. We do not want to forget. Why? Because we would play it over and over and over and, and over again in your sight and you wake up thinking about it. You go to bed thinking about it. As soon as that individual gets in your presence, you go to thinking about it. You don't want to get over it. And you replay it, you keep it, or repeat it. Some things you don't want to forget. Because you don't want the responsibility of establishing a new way of dealing with that individual. Wow. It's too easy to maintain this jacked up relationship as opposed to changing and reestablishing a new and productive one. Because really forgiveness requires no change on your part. I'm <laughs> working it up in here. All of the change has to occur in me. So it's easier for me to replay it because replaying it really validates my jacked up attitude toward you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and I'm looking for a validation to why I don't like you. Mm. I'm looking for a validation as to why I got an issue with you. So now I gotta replay it. I gotta think about it. I gotta rehearse it. It's gotta come out. It's gotta come out in an argument. Mm. It's gotta come out in conversation. It's got to come out in a heated debate. Yeah, just like when you did what you did back in 1972. 
It's kind of extreme, but you know what I mean. Because I got to validate why my spirit is not right as it concerns you. I made up my mind. I don't have much time. But I'll run. 